So welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a tour and a walkthrough of the Al Kiswa Towers Hotel. I chose this hotel because it has a lot of positive reviews. It's considered to be a good budget hotel. So I thought I would just stay there to see what it's like. So I'm going to show you exactly what to expect if you are booking this hotel. So I took a bus from Jeddah to Mecca. So here is the bus station and from here I decided just to walk to the Al Kiswa Towers Hotel. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk to get from the bus station. So here is part of the walk and we have arrived at the front of the hotel which you can see here. So here we have the Al Kiswa Towers Hotel. Now this hotel consists of around five towers. You can see just how tall these towers are and around the hotel it's quite busy. So you can see there's already people walking around. This is the early morning when I filmed this video. So let's get into the hotel. So here we have the reception area. If you walk ahead you'll get to where the desks and all the staff are. And just on the right here, actually, there is a cafe. Now, this cafe, because it's Ramadan, it's mostly open after iftar. So that's when you'll be able to get food and various drinks and desserts from this cafe. So this was just the first thing I noticed when I walked into the hotel. It's immediately on the right. And then just walking further down, so further ahead is going to be the reception area. There was a sign saying there is a special offer for Ramadan, so they offer iftar and suhoor. And here on the left is like a stall where he's selling a variety of different items. And this is the reception area, so let me just show you a quick walkthrough of the reception area. So that's the staff there on the right. And if you walk further ahead, there are plenty of seats around, sofas for you to sit down and relax on. And the area here smells very nice. I think they use a very nice fragrance here. They have massage chairs, which you can use. And generally it's quite a spacious and well-decorated area. So we're just going to walk a little bit further ahead and see what's around the corner here. The interesting thing about this hotel is they have a lot of elevators. So here you can see there are eight elevators here and the elevators themselves are quite fast as well. So there's not really much waiting around if you need an elevator. Here are another eight elevators and then just walking to the end here, there are another four elevators. So um, there's more shops here. So there's a stall just there and we're going to go to the rear side of the hotel. At this time, they were giving away food for iftar. So you can see um, this is quite a generous hotel. They were offering charity and offering food for iftar. So I thought that was very nice. So I thought I would include that in this video. You can see how many people are queuing up just to collect uh, iftar. So let's look at the rest of the hotel. We're just going to go back inside and let's go back inside tower one. So this is how this area was decorated. This is where that shop was and there's some more shops just on the side. I call them shops, but they're almost like a stall. So they, they sell a variety of Islamic gifts and just general items as well. So they have some nice decoration here. Remember this hotel has five towers. So this is tower one. And here's just a view from the floor above just of this area. So here is the room. Let's move on to the room tour. So I booked a twin room. So you can see they have two separate single beds, which you can see. And they have nice decoration around the room. They have a nice patterned carpet. There's a wooden headboard there and it's got quite a nice view outside. We have a TV on the left, a desk here which has a telephone, that's the remote for the television. They have also provided a box of tissues and we have a kettle there with free complimentary water and a variety of coffees and teas. They have a bin there at the bottom. Now let's have a look at the view from outside. So quite a nice view, not that it's that important, but you can just see the street uh, in front of the hotel and you can see it's quite busy at the moment, but it gets a lot busier later on. So this is the view from the hotel room and let's have a look at the room again. So we have a side table there and they have some nice side lamps there too. And also we have another side table here. 
the good thing is they have UK sockets, which you can see just here. So you don't have to use an adapter if you're from the UK. You can just plug your items directly into the wall. And again, on the other side, I did notice actually they have some, I think it was some kind of graffiti on the wall, if you can see that. So there was some graffiti there which hadn't been cleaned off. Uh, generally, the room is, uh, I would say it's quite good for the amount that you're paying. Obviously, there is, it's not perfect. You know, there was some graffiti there, and I think the furniture is a little bit old. Here we have the mini fridge. Uh, what's nice about this room is they have a sticker which tells you the direction of the Kaaba, so you know exactly which way you need to be praying. And let's have a look at the wardrobe space. So there is a large wardrobe here with plenty of space for your suitcase. They've also included hangers there if you want to hang your clothes. And there's also a safe there at the bottom too. And then just another kind of shelf here on the side if you want to put more things there. Now let's have a look at the bathroom. So the bathroom is quite decent. It's almost like a wet room. So um, it's quite easy if you're doing vuzu. If there's any water that goes on the floor, it can just be, it just dries quite easily. And there's the shower place there. The bathroom has one of those water jets, which is quite typical for bathrooms in Saudi Arabia. They gave plenty of shower gel and soap. And this is the shower head. So leave your comments on what you think of this room. That's everything for this room tour. And I'm gonna show you just more of what's included in this hotel. So remember I said they're giving away uh, free food for iftar. This is just another clip of how big this queue was. So I was really impressed that the hotel were giving away so much food for iftar. And here's the same area without that large crowd. So you can see the other towers around, that's Tower 5. And there's also a variety of shops here, like barber shops. They have a shop where you can buy dates and nuts. There's also a laundry. And those orange buses you can see in the background, that's the shuttle bus which will take you to the harem area. So if you wanted to take that there, roughly every 5 to 10 minutes one of these buses will come. At the end of the video, I'll show you the exact route that you can take to get to the harem using these buses. So stick around till the end of the video if you'd like to see that. And just here's another shop selling nuts and dates. And then here we have the laundry uh, sh shop as well. So let's have a look at some of the other towers. So let's move across to Tower 3. In Tower 3, you can also see there's quite a lot of shops in this area. Shops or stalls, however you like to call them. So you can buy plenty of Islamic gifts. You can buy nuts, dates, seeds. There's also some stalls selling thusbees and jewelry. And also fragrances and ouds and also suitcases and clothes. So there's a lot of different options if you do need to buy something or if you've forgotten something or if you want to buy a gift for someone. So here's a clip just showing you how tall these towers actually are. This is tower one, so this is where I was staying. And now what we're going to do is look at the restaurant of the hotel. So uh, this is the seating area of the restaurant. They had a special offer for Ramadan, where iftar is 50 real per person and uh, suhoor is around 35 real per person. This is the outdoor seating area. So it was quite hot, obviously, at the moment. So it's nice to be eating outside when the temperature is a lot cooler. Uh, there's a drinks fridge just located here. Here's a view of the towers. And this is the restaurant area. So this is where the food was. I'm going to show you the iftar food first. So everything that you see here is for iftar.
now we're going to look at the suhoor food. So everything here that you can see is available for suhoor. Okay, so that's pretty much everything for the food. There is some dessert which I'm going to show you as well. But leave your thoughts and opinions on what you think of the food at the hotel. I thought it was quite good for the price, so let me know your thoughts. Now let's have a look at the other facilities of the hotel. So they have a prayer room which is nice. I really like in Saudi Arabia how there are masjids located within the hotel. So I had a look at the men's praying area if you want to have a look with me. So this was located on the first floor floor so we're just going to have a look at that now and then there's also an area for Vazu which you can see just here as well they also have uh, laundry uh, facilities available here So the hotel also has a gym, so I thought I would just take some shots for you guys. Um, not a massive amount of equipment, but for a hotel gym, and for the price you're paying, I'd say it's quite decent. So let me know what you think of this gym, but I would say it's quite good because it has pretty much everything you need for a quick workout. They also have a kids club as well. So if you want your child looked after or somewhere for them to play, they have this kid's room as well. Now we're going to move on to the shuttle bus service. So these are the shuttle buses. Remember I said they come every five minutes and it's free of charge. It also runs 24-7 as well. So uh, we're just setting off now to reach the Haram area. The hotel is very close to the bus station. Remember I walked to get to the hotel. So this shuttle bus doesn't take too long. It's only when there's a lot of traffic does it maybe take a while. But it takes roughly about 10 minutes to get to the bus station. And from there, I'm going to show you a quick walk. I will make a separate video showing the full walk from the bus station to the Haram area. But that's pretty much the end of the video here. So I've done my full review. I thought the hotel was quite good for the price that I paid. If you're planning on staying at this hotel and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and ask me any questions and I'll do my best to get back to you. And that's pretty much everything. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video if you can. It really does help the channel to grow. And thank you again.